it's not the truth because God is near to us he's close to us all the time he doesn't move away from us he doesn't move away if we do a sin either if you call kind of fall into a sin God will kind of move out of us no his Holy Spirit lives inside of us all the time Welcome to this encouragement I'm going to have for you today. And today I'm just going to, going to give an encouragement about what you have already, what you have as a Christian, what you have already. And you know, my question is this, do we need more of God? Because I have heard many Christians say this, and even in songs I heard people singing, <laughs> and many Christians I heard saying this, that God, I need more of you, or I need more of God in my life. And sometimes we are saying those things without thinking about it. But is that true, that we need more of God or more of Jesus in our lives? Does the Bible says that we have to hunger and thirst more of God, that we need more of God? Do we need more power? Do we need more forgiveness? Or do we, do we need more of His nature? Do we need more blessings from God? And many, many people, they will say, yeah, I, I do that. I need, need more of God. I need more of those, those things. But what, you, what you're actually saying is, is this, I want to experience those things more. And that's more than more closer to the truth, that I want to experience those things. I want to experience more of His power. I want to experience more of His, His love and, and things like that. But the truth is that you don't need more of God, because God, when you became a Christian, God moved on the inside of you. He's there already, living in the, in, on the inside of you. So you don't need him to live more inside of you. He's there already. What you need is more revelation. <laughs> what you need is, to, is more to discover who you truly are, who God is, and what you have. You need to discover that. It's about discovery. It's not about getting more. If it's, a, if it's about getting more from God, we, we are start, starting to strive. Strive to get things more from God. We're striving, if, if I only pray more, if, if I only um, uh, read in the Bible more, I will become a better Christian or, or God will live more inside of me. We kind of sometimes think that. <laughs> or sometimes we feel it too. We feel that we don't have love. We feel that we don't have any power. We feel that God is far away. But that's our feelings and emotions who tells us that. It's not the truth. Because God is near to us. He's close to us all the time. He doesn't move away from us. He doesn't move away if we do a sin either. If we call, kind of fall into a sin, God will kind of move out of us. No. His Holy Spirit lives inside of us all the time. He doesn't move out and in. <laughs> he's, he's there all the time. If you have received Jesus, He's there. He's there with you all the time. You have all of Him. It's on the inside of you already. You, in fact, don't need more of Him. What you need is more, maybe more knowledge. You need more, uh, more uh, revelation about who He is and who, about, about God is. And, and that, that's good. <laughs> I, I do that too. I, I thirst and hunger for more knowledge about who God is. I do that all the time. But it's not like a, like a desperate or, or a kind of frustration hunger. <laughs> it's like a, I, I want more. I want more from God, or I want, I want, want more knowledge about who God is. You don't really need Him more, <laughs> because He is there on the inside of you already. And I, I just want to mention some scripture. I, I don't, uh, I don't want, I, I will not read them. Yeah. But in Ephesians, Ephesians one three, it says that uh, that God has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly. In Christ Jesus. He has blessed us. He's not going to bless us. He has blessed us with all blessings. <laughs> you don't need more blessings from God. It's there already. Yeah, yeah, you can experience it more. You can experience His, His blessings more and more. 
And that's true. You can walk in his blessing more and more. And you can experience and, and discover his blessings more and more. And you can, you can walk in it. But it's not that you need more. <laughs> he has blessed you already. It's there already. In Ephesians, is saying that. And you can read the rest of the Ephesians, actually, actually chapter 1, 2, and 3, too. And it's talking about the, the power and the love that already is there. It's there already. It's working in us already. It's there already. And if Christ is there already and blessed us already, do we need more blessing? <laughs> he has blessed us. And you can walk in it. Walk in the blessing that you have. And you can experience more of his blessings. And in 2 Peter 1.4, it's talking about divine nature. And many people are thinking, I need more divine nature in my life. But actually here in, in this 2 Peter 1.4, it's talking about that we have been given a divine nature already. The promise <laughs> that we have, we have a, a divine nature already. You can read it yourself. I don't have time to read it right now. But you have been partaker of his divine nature already. He's talking about that in 2 Peter 1.4. We are part of our taker. And if you have his nature on the inside of us, do we need more of his nature? No, he is there already. <laughs> and also some people have said that I need to God to fill me more. I need more, more that he will fill me up. <laughs> But the Bible also says that He has. He has filled you. <laughs> in Him you have been filled. <laughs> in uh, Colossians 2.10, it's talking about you have been filled already. You have it already. It's there already. You have been filled up already. You just need to let it out. <laughs> you need to find out how to let it out. How to let the blessing out. How to uh, let the love of God come out of you. <laughs> you need to find out about that. Because it's there already. You don't have to strive to become something you are not. You just need to discover who you are. That's, that's what it's about. You're not trying to become something that, that you're not yet. You are something and you just need to discover it. That is it. what it is all about. Discover what you have. And even when it comes to forgiveness, I, I don't want to go there too much today, but, but even when it comes to forgiveness, God has forgiven us all our sins. He has given to us already. Colossians 2, 13 is, is talking about that. That we, He has already forgiven us all our transpass, transpasses, <laughs> all our sins. You don't need more forgiveness. It's there, available for you. You, can, you need to receive it, uh, but, but it's there already. God has forgiven you already, even for sins you will do. <laughs> he has forgiven you for that sin even. And I'm not talking about, about that you should not, that you should deny that you have sinned or, or something like that. I'm not talking about that. It's good to confess if you have done a sin, then confess it. <laughs> confess it to the one who did it to you, or, or even to God. You, it's, you're free to do that because you are in a relationship with Him. And it's, in, it's important to have an open relationship with Him. But the truth is that God has forgiven you already. Just receive it. <laughs> He's not angry at you. He's not writing down a list. I'm writing a list down all the bad things you do. And if you haven't confessed that sin, that sin is not forgiven. And that's not God. God doesn't do like that. That's not God. He doesn't, doesn't keep up. In, in, uh, in, uh, uh, in 1 Corinthians 13, he's talking about that love, love keeps no records of wrong. Love keeps no record of wrong in NIV. Translation is, is saying that. Keeps no record of wrong. It will say he, he has forgiven you. He don't keep your sins. And, and, and kind of say that, do you have done this wrong and do you that wrong? He has forgiven you. You have it already. We have everything already. We just need to discover what we have. We need knowledge. We need knowledge about Him. We need knowledge about His love. You know, if, 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 if it's about that you want to be, to, to know more, God more, 
to know more about him. And that's good, and that's healthy. But that it's not the same as saying that I have, no, have nothing, I'm so empty, I, I don't have anything. I have no power and I need more of your powers, and so on. And we kind of feel that we need to strive to, to get it. But God is on the inside of you already. His power is there already. Many Christians, and, and I, I was one of them in many years, that I, I was waiting for the big breakthrough. I was waiting that there needed to be a big breakthrough. I need a breakthrough in my life. And I was waiting and waiting and waiting. I was waiting, actually, to be honest. I was waiting for more than 20 years for a breakthrough. I remember I went to the Bible school and I, and I said that I'm, I'm, I'm praying for a breakthrough in my life. I remember one of the other students, I think it was, or maybe the staff, I don't remember. But uh, I think it was the staff, actually. Uh, she said that, uh, yet tell me, write me when, when you have this big uh, breakthrough. <laughs> you know, she, she, was, she didn't say it in a bad way. She, she kind of, she, she, was, she was really looking forward to that, <laughs> that I had a breakthrough. Uh, and I haven't actually written her back, but because it's many, many years ago. Uh, but I had a breakthrough for about maybe, I don't know, maybe seven, eight years ago now. Um, but that was 20 years after the Bible school I, I went to or around 20 years, I don't know, not exactly, maybe 15, 15 to 20 years. Um, but I had a breakthrough. But my breakthrough was about this. I started to see that I am already, I ha I'm partaker of the divine nature already. God is on the inside of me already. I don't need to strive to get more, to be more. <laughs> I have him already. God lives on the inside of me already. I have all of these things already in on, the, on the inside of me. I don't have to strive to become something I'm not. I just need to discover who I am. What God has created me to be. I just need to discover me. <laughs> and, 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 and the Christ that lives in me. Because Christ lives in me. He is me in me. I need to discover Him. He that lives in me and, and been united with me. I am un united with God with Christ. I'm one with Him. So, so I need to figure out more, more about Him. And I need to figure out who I am too. Who God created me to be. That, that's what it's all about. And that was my breakthrough. And it, that, that's the only breakthrough you, you really need. You, you got it already. God lives on the inside of you already. He has already loved you. The, the Holy Spirit lives on the inside of you already. You have all the power that you need, even to raise up people from the dead. And my last question today is, why is this so important? Why is this thing I'm talking to you now so important? Because if you don't, all the time, you believe that you, are, you, you don't have enough, it's more, something more you need to do, to get more, then you will always striving for something more. You will always feel that, that you are not good enough. There is always something more you need to do. You need to get more holy. You need to get more of this and, and that. But can I tell the truth? You are holy. But you need to work it to get out, yes. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't show in you. And, and in me too. <laughs> it doesn't always show. I need to work on getting it out, but I'm not working to get it somewhere out there and get it in here. No. I need to work it out from inside out, not outside in, but inside out. That's what it is about. <laughs> and that, when you see that, it, it doesn't become a striving to get something, but it becomes a rest. A walk in rest. The other side too, if, if, you, if you think that uh, you need to kind of do this and that and that, and if you just uh, pray enough and, 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 and live holy enough and, and so on, uh, you, you can start to feel special. You can feel that if, if you are able to do that in a certain degree, live holy or pray uh, many times a day or read in the Bible a lot, if you are able to do that, you can also start to think that I, I'm, I'm starting to get it now. I'm starting to get filled, filled up now <laughs> of God now. <laughs> and, 
and you believe that you do it yourself, then it becomes your deeds, it becomes your activity, it becomes your doing. You are the one who is doing it. And you're kind of starting to forget that what God did. <laughs> God did create something new on the inside of you. You are a new creation. And if you think that you can do it yourself, you forget about that. You forget that God did it. God did you. He did give you a new creation. There's nothing of you that you have done. In Ephesians is talking about you. It's not by works. The grace is not by works. So that no, no one should boast. It's free. <laughs> it's there already. It's given to you free. You don't have to work to get it. It's free. It's there for you. It's available for you already. It's there. Just trust it and, and give, get the knowledge about it. Know more about it. The Christian life is not a, a striving or a stressing to get more of God. But it's about discover what we have and who God is. I am, I know I've already mentioned this several times. Because when we're saying that we, I need more, I need to do more, we say that I need to kind of, I need to show more, I need to show it. I need to achieve more. And our focus will become on us. What I need to achieve, what I need to do. And what I have done and not done, or what I have been able to achieve or not. And this is tiring. <laughs> your Christian life will, you, you will get tired of your Christian life if it's like that. Especially if you feel that you are on the losing side. <laughs> when you're feeling that there are always more you need to do and you, you never feel it's enough. Jesus has called us into his rest. In Hebrew, 4.11 is talking about that. He has called us to his rest. And what kind of rest is that? It's rest actually from the striving to become more. To get more. You don't have to strive to get more. You have it all on the inside of you already. It's all about to get knowledge and discover what you have. And it, it becomes a discovery, uh, a discovery uh, channel in a way, or a discovery travel, and not striving. When it's about this, I mean, when it's about to get knowledge and discover who God is, it becomes like a, a, a discovery. <laughs> you know, when I got married, I didn't know my wife fully, you know, when I get, got married. And uh, we are growing, and we're growing all the time, <laughs> to get to know each other more and more. And um, there was a side of my wife I didn't see, both good and bad. And there, and there was something about me too, that um, both, both good, good and bad, uh, that, um, uh, that my wife started to, uh, to get to know. And some of that was not so, so nice, some of it was nice. <laughs> and that's probably with all of us. But with God, it's not like that, actually. He, he, you will just discover more and more good things about God. But, but still, it, you can also compare this to your relationship with God. That it, it is a discovery. You're walking with Him. You discover more and more who God is. You get to know Him more and more. You discover it's not a striving on to, to get... You know, when, when me and my wife uh, in our relationship, we're not striving to get to know each other more and more. It kind of comes naturally, because we are friends, because we have a love relationship, or our relationship is based on love, it comes more and more natural. We are open with each other. We don't hide things to each other either. We are open with each other. And it's a love relationship. And that's why our relationship is growing and gets stronger. And the same thing with God. <laughs> and also, I'm, I'm, when I'm talking about sin too, don't, don't hide your sin for God. That's the stupid. <laughs> Share it with him and ask him to help you. <laughs> you are in a relationship with him and that's the thing you need to remember. You are, you have this relationship already. You don't have to strive to, to get in a relationship with him. You are married. <laughs> you are married to him already. 
I have this ring on this finger because that's the they do in Norway, but I know some places they have it on this finger. But uh, but that's okay. It's a it's a wedding ring that, that that shows that I am married, and you're married to God, and you are in a relationship with God. So don't forget that. Now it's, when we see this, our Christian life will not be a heavy burden and a striving. But it is a travel that you can enjoy from day one. And remember this. Discover what you have and what you got. Stop striving to get more. God has given you everything. God is on the inside of you. He is with you. He is in you. And you don't have to strive to become more, to get more. He is there already. Remember this. God is in you. He loves you. Already, you don't have to strive to be, have more of his power, more of his love and so on. It lives on the inside of you already. You are one with Christ. You live in Jesus, lives on the inside of you. You are one with him. And, and remember that. That's the thing I want you to remember. That's on my heart today. That you will discover what you already have. Not, uh, not trying to get more, uh, but discover what you already have. Remember this. Discover what you already have. That's what the Christian life is about. Okay, that's what I had for you today. God bless you.